it's you really can't explain it it's literally losing a body part it's not just one finger it's five fingers it's losing your palm you losing the back of your hand losing that ability to grasp things approximately five years ago I suffered a workplace accident which resulted in the loss of my right hand people have tried to create a hand that looks just like the human hand, I don't think that's the ideal prosthetic. I actually think what we want to do is have them forget they lost a hand. A friend of mine contacted me and said that they were doing a sensory restoration project at the Cleveland VA Medical Center. And would I be interested in possibly participating? So the basic goal of this technology is to restore sensation to people that have lost their hands. You've also lost all the sensors that used to touch the world. Even though the sensor is gone, the wires that communicate that information back to the brain still exist. And so what we've done is develop devices that can go onto those wires and apply electrical information and basically communicate to the wires that then send that back to the brain and so they feel as though it's their hand in what we do. When the prosthesis touches something, the person feels as though they're touching that. The first time that I felt sensation, the actual sense of my hand being there was when I shook the hand of Professor Dustin Tyler. What that means to me is getting something back that I lost. And I never knew that would even be possible. To even get one sensation back, but to literally get 20 different sensations back. It's me being almost whole again. When we ask our subjects, how do you feel when you're using the prosthesis. If they don't have sensation enabled, they describe it as a tool. They'll say, basically, I'm holding a tool at the end of my arm and I'm manipulating it. But as soon as we turn sensation on, he says, no, it's my hand. I'm touching something. That's a huge change. One of the big things that distinguishes our work is that we are, to my knowledge, the first group that's been able to do this for longer than a couple weeks in the lab. And now sending them home, we're the first to allow them to go home and to use this on a regular basis and see what the That's impact the will be in their home That's life. That's the real world. That's going to be, I think, a little emotional. I think so? Home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I already know it. Oh, really? When you're in the lab, you focus on sensation. So it's very easy, well, relatively easy to make these things work. But the real challenge is when people go home. We want to see the actual impact in day-to-day -day life. So we haven't ever had the opportunity to do this before. To send him home and to have him clean the dishes, make the salad, you know, make sandwiches, hold his wife's hand. I've only had the system for two days now. So it's still been a learning curve for myself in learning to be right-handed again. But I've been using it more and more. Now the hardest one so far that I've found is hard boiled eggs. Because even though they say they're hard boiled, when the shell is off, they're really soft and I used to crush them all the time. But now I'm able to hold it and feel them in my fingers. So the brain is an amazing device and it's really a, a great organizer, categorizer, right? And that's been great for us because this idea of natural sensation, I think relies on that. The beauty of the brain is it learns our communication. So we're trying to get as close as we can to what the natural language of the body is, but that's really hard. There's 10,000 axons, 10,000 different signals. We're not there yet. But what's beautiful is we can get close and the brain can do the rest of the work for us. So even though it's not perfect, the person still interprets that information to be a sense of touch. And what's even better is over time, the brain will learn our language better and better. I know it's still an ongoing process, so my hopes are that, that someday it can be more functional than anything that's ever been out there.